Hi guys, I have a question for you today. Have you been feeling like there's a stirring going on inside of you for a longing for something more? Almost like things are unfulfilled lately in your life. Maybe you felt like that for a little while. And if you feel like there's something more you can't quite define yet, this video is for you. So today I wanted to make a clarion call to you personally. I am here to tell you that if you have been feeling like you're called for something more, you are among millions of people awakening and feeling empowered by that. You're part of something bigger. Well, you're definitely not alone because many people are feeling this and wondering, how do we awaken something better within ourselves to find our own peace in this chaotic world? First, let me quickly introduce myself. I'm Kate Wilder from Wilder Talk, and my channel is all about manifesting your dreams and goals, but at its core, it's about tapping into the power that each of us have within us to overcome our own fears and doubts and things that hold us back in life. And we all have those, don't we? I do share weekly episodes, including teachings and guided meditations to help you manifest your goals and dreams. This means everything to me. So do you believe that spiritual power exists within all of us, no matter what our individual beliefs might be, that each of us have the ability to create the life we dream of if we can get in touch with what's holding us back? I'm speaking to you if you've been feeling like there's more, but somehow it just isn't resonating in your own life. But you know you've got something more. There is something more beyond catastrophe and drama and trauma and change. So if you're open to trying new things and exploring ideas that might be new to you, they might be old to you. We're all at different points on our paths. One thing I do know is that if you're watching this, it's no accident. And I hope you'll stick around because I feel like there's a message here for you. And I just want you to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. There's a lot of people talking on podcasts about what I'm talking about, but maybe not everybody is in their 60s like I am and have been around the block and have been through a lot of hard knocks and have manifested through them even in spite of really difficult circumstances, which I'm sure you are going through or have been through as well. What you've been doing so far just isn't quite cutting fulfillment. The first step is to acknowledge that you're feeling this way. Acknowledge this, trust your intuition, trust your inner guidance that's telling you, hey, there might be something more for you that you're not paying attention to. It might mean making changes in your life that are difficult. That often is the case. Sometimes we are forced to make changes when we really don't feel like it. I mean, let's face it, who really likes change? Most of us really don't at a deep level, but our intuition is really trying to help us and yours is trying to help you. So when you start noticing those nudges or messages, if you wanna think of it that way, whether it's God speaking to you, the universe, Jesus, or whatever resonates best with you, write down, if you can, that nudge, that intuition, that feeling of, I don't know quite what it is, but I'm willing to try to figure it out because maybe you don't know yet what it is and maybe you don't know how to figure it out, but you're willing to try to figure it out. This is the very first step in changing your life or creating or manifesting anything new, no matter what your beliefs are. If we can't acknowledge that there is something more that we want to reach for, then we can't ever hope to get there. So don't ignore nudges. Don't ignore intuition. Feel it. Allow it. And just know and trust that it's okay. So when people feel called to something greater than themselves, a lot of times they ignore these signs because they're stuck in conventional thinking. Society's expectations can make it hard to break free. But real happiness comes from when you think outside of the box and when you follow your own path. We're all creators. But many of us just don't want to honor our gifts and the messages that we might receive because we're afraid. And we don't like change, let's face it. Fear of taking action is a big deal in all of our lives. And especially fear of taking action on a message or intuition that we might receive, to me, is a tragedy. Because our ego mind, your ego mind, will hold you back until you confront it and start to override it. And this is where the journey begins with finding your own truth, finding your own ways of reprogramming yourself, of getting to the root of old beliefs, of changing those, and moving forward into a happier, more positive existence, even in spite of outer circumstances. And that's really the key. 
Because when things are going wrong in life, that's when you most need positive thinking. When you most need to shift your beliefs out of, I don't believe in manifesting, or I don't believe in this. I don't believe I created this mess in my life. I don't believe my health problem is something I deserve. I don't believe God would do this to me, would do this to someone in my family, would do that. Why would God hurt somebody? That's not a question I can answer, or you. All I know is that when we're in devastating circumstances, and trust me when I tell you, I have lived them. I'm not speaking to you like someone not from hardship. My life has been mostly hardship. And so this is why I'm an expert on manifesting because I have had to manifest my way out of losing myself more than anything. And isn't that really the problem when we lose ourselves? Let me ask you this. Do you feel that you're maybe here to teach or inspire or to help others, but you haven't really committed to doing it yet or feeling like you know where to start because maybe you don't even know what it is. You don't even know really what it looks like. What should you be doing? How do you get the courage to step out and change a job or start a business? Maybe you haven't yet found a way to start your calling. Many people are being awakened right now to do something different. Even if it's something small, it doesn't even have to be significant. You know, I just feel like so many people that I talk to, friends, strangers, acquaintances, so many people are feeling like there's something they cannot put their finger on, but something isn't right in the world. Something's not right within us. And I don't mean like in a bad, not right sense. I just mean like this last... 10 years or whatever have been just filled with change and shifts in mindset of people. And a lot of us are longing to find fulfillment through the maze of this chaos. Do you know what I'm talking about? Because I have felt this. I've felt it for 40 years, but especially the last 10 years. So if you're ready to manifest some kind of a different life for yourself, you're definitely in the right place if you like these conversations. And if you have the courage to try to practice some new principles that can potentially change you, raise your vibration, and help you become more of a beacon for all the good that life has to offer to be attracted to you instead of a lot of the chaos and things, then my channel is for you. As I've been organizing my own thoughts and teachings on this channel, it's also been a journey to overcome fears and learn new skills and I'm not as polished on camera as I'd like to be, but I'm working on it every day. And I fail every day and I succeed, but I'm not quitting. And that is the key to manifesting, that even when the evidence is not showing up yet, that you don't stop, that you keep your resilience going. Because to create a different life and capitalize on some form of mission or purpose or feeling like there's just something different you should be doing with your life, whether it's just changing anything. You know, it's, there's a million circumstances to change from. I am just trying to tell you that it just takes a little courage and inner work. The reason I mentioned this is because you might also be curious about starting a YouTube channel or a podcast to share your gift with the world. If so, go for it. Don't stop. It's a great time to start, even though you think it's too late. It will be the greatest growth experience of your life. And even if that's not your path, but you feel there's something more for you to teach, to talk about, to learn about, subscribe to my free Inspiring Manifesting Mastery newsletter. It's called Shift Your Vibe, where I share weekly tips that you can use right away to manifest anything. And this includes helping you figure out your next steps when you really don't know what it is you should be doing. That link and others are in the description, by the way, in the pinned comment. Continue seeking, my friend, because you are called, and that means there's something more for you to be doing in your life that you haven't yet tapped into. So continue on with me as I help you find ways to uncover and tap into your purpose, your truth, your fulfillment. So just subscribe and give it a try. If you don't like it, you can unsubscribe and just stop. Thank you for being here, my friend. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next episode.